Hey guys, it's Stefan from Chichil Australia, and this is my take on the 4K HDMI cables. So with the slow and inevitable transition to the new cables, manufacturers are jumping at the chance to sell these more expensive 4K HDMI cables. But guess what? You do not need it. Here's why. There is four different types of cables. The high speed with, it, with Ethernet, the high speed without Ethernet, the standard speed with Ethernet, and the standard speed without Ethernet. There's no reason to get the standard speed cables anymore as the price difference is uh, not too much. And as per the current HDMI 1.4, in order for a HDMI cable to be considered high speed, it must be able to pass 3084 times 2160 pixels at up to 30 frames per second. Now this means that even the cheapest HDMI DMI high speed cable can pass the maximum resolution possible with the current generation of Ultra HD 4K TVs, which means you do not need to buy these more expensive cables that uh, gimmicks and manufacturers are trying to make people suck in to buy, whereas the normal ones just pass the maximum resolution possible. Uh, so since 3840 times 2160 is the maximum in the current HDMI spec, it doesn't matter whether you have a cable that's capable of 10 times that because you already have the most possible you can get out of it. Uh, the sending and receiving are only capable of what I just said. And so you could set your PC to 10,000 times 10,000 pixel resolution and even the cable could support that bandwidth. The video card's HDMI output chip couldn't output it, and the, the display's HDMI input chip couldn't accept it. In other words, it's a chain, and all parts of the chain have to have the ability to support all of the data. And right now, if the cable is rated high speed, it can pass the resolution currently possible with the new Ultra HD TVs. Uh, TVs. So the new, the one caveat is just because a cable is called high speed doesn't mean it actually is. That's the main point. It can pass the possible resolution of the new Ultra HD TVs. So even some cheap HDMI cables can make this a distance. Um, so the future is we were supposed to see HDMI 2.0 by now, but it's been delayed. Uh, chances are it will support much higher frame rates. Uh, it is possible that these expensive new cables with their incredible claimed bandwidth will be able to pass the torrent of data of HDMI 2.0 when it arrives, uh, but it's also possible that it won't. So in reality, it's irrelevant. You can get uh, a HDMI cable for about $5 that will work right now. Why would you spend $70 on a cable that will work now and might work later, which we don't know the future, but the main point is now with these 4K cables, we already have this technology available. They are just trying to brag you by having uh, a faster one, which doesn't even need to be supported on these new Ultra HD TVs. Uh, the bottom line is, there was no particular need to say this, uh, but people can easily get sucked in. So it's good to watch these things and be aware of the consequences because it's so easy just to slip by and think, oh, I've got this TV now, I have to get this new cable. But remember, it already supports it. The normal high-speed cables do not fork out the $70 or whatever for the 4K cable as just a general high-speed cable can uh, reach the quota of these new Ultra HD TVs. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, please share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.